Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenoria across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel. Of course, always get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. And of course, turn on that notification bell and share this video amongst your family and friends. But you can already guess from the title of this video and the thumbnail that this is that uh, disastrous haul shipment that came in from Ulta a few months back where I posted on my Instagram where everything in the box came in. It was some of the products were broken, open, some of the powders were everywhere. So everything inside my box is dirty. So this is the Ulta haul with all the stuff in here. I since cleaned up most of the products. But I was so upset with how I received my package from Ulta that this thing has literally been sitting in the corner since March. So let's go ahead and review some of these items. I know Ulta's coming up on another discount, 20% off discount that they're about to send out. So let's go ahead and go over this together. So it may be something here that you guys are able to purchase or already have on your list that you'll be able to take advantage of that 20% off coupon code. So... If you're ready to see what worked, what didn't work, what exploded all over the place, let's keep on watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing, really, two, one. Okay, guys, so the first thing that came in with my Ulta Beauty haul is going to be my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her Dip Brow Gel, and I got the color and granite and i already showed you guys this i've already been using this in a couple of tutorials and with this one the brush size is perfect how it goes on and applies to your brows is perfect if you already have full thick brow hairs and you just want to help shade them in and hold them in place this is perfect or if you have minimal brow hairs like me this really helps you to go in and outline and define your actual brows and fill it in and you can also take a spoolie and a brush and just dip directly into the product and go ahead and outline your brows and still spoolie through them and it gives you enough time to work and play with it before it sets in place so this right here from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a go for me I absolutely love this product the next thing that came in is from Physicians Formula and uh, this is their Better Bronzer and this is one of their newer deeper shades I did get the shade in Endless Summer and this is a bronzer I did in my Battle of the Bronzers video I put up for you guys a little while back and love it absolutely it smells like coconut cookies and coconut pie it smells so good but this butter bronzer from physicians formula is absolutely stunning it is absolutely amazing even on my tan skin right now I'm still able to go ahead and use this shade and it does give just a little bit of sheen when you're actually applying it so it gives that beautiful sun-kissed golden got your tan on summer glow without it being too extra you know what i'm saying you don't want to be shiny where you put bronzer on your face but this gives a nice healthy glow so if you guys were thinking about getting this it does come in two deeper shades now so it may be an option available for you and of course it comes with this little bronzer brush underneath i don't use or do anything with it i'll leave that there and it does come with the mirror underneath so let me not blind you guys not make a mess either <laughs> but if you're traveling or anything like that you it's great to be able to have something it's a pretty good mirror too where you can actually look into it and do your makeup just in case you're in an area where you don't have access to a huge mirror to do your makeup it's always great to travel with items that actually come with the mirror let's go on to the next one the next thing that we got in is from flower beauty this is their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It says it's weightless, it's crease proof, it has a really soft angle tip for precise application. All of those are 100% correct. All of those are 100% a go. I did get my shade in medium 5-D1, uh, which is medium deep. This concealer is a beautiful, flawless concealer. It goes on, it doesn't fade or wear weird throughout the day. It doesn't settle into your fine lines and creases. And it is a luminous concealer. So if you lightly set your eyes, you'll still be able to see that radius come through. But if you bake, it leaves the skin with a semi-matte more natural skin look if you bake on top of this concealer and it just looks flawless and wears flawless throughout the day 
So this is one that I definitely will recommend that you guys get and try out. You know, I'm happy that, you know, Flower Beauty did have a shade that was deep enough for me. And it is a few shades deeper than this. So this is something you guys can definitely try out. The next thing that we got in was when Full Spectrum with CoverGirl released their matte ambition all day um, powder foundations. I got mine in the shade tan golden and I thought it was gonna be beautiful and work for me but as you can tell this little devil exploded and created a hot mess inside of my actual box um, with the shades as I was going through cleaning it up none of it actually seemed to really match me at the time and now that I'm tan I definitely can't wear this particular shade, so I would have to go back and get a deeper shade. If you guys have used this product, let me know what you think about it and let me know if this is, a, if this is something that I need to go ahead and repurchase, you know, just swap out inside of Ulta or Girl Boo Bye, keep it moving. It's other stuff you can grab. Let me know what you guys think about this one. The next thing that I got was the BH Cosmetics. This is their Breeze Bronzer, and it has a satin finish, so it's supposed to give you a little bit of a glow, so it's not completely matte, but it's not super shiny with chunks of glitter and different things in it as you're bronzing your face. And I did go ahead and get the shade Coco Cutie, and I thought, it does have a mirror, so it has a really great mirror. I thought this was a pretty good bronzer for me, especially prior to me getting my tan as far as how it went on and how it applied to my skin. Until I did my battle with the bronzers and I compared the BH Cosmetics bronzer to the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. And this hand down was made me happy. I chose this one over this one. You guys can see that in my battle of the bronzers video I already put up for you guys. So this one. I have a lighter shade that I'll use to go ahead and brighten underneath my eyes. So it's not a bad product or anything like that, but this one is going back because between the both of them, this one was really making me happy. So this one, going back to Ulta. Of course, when you're ordering your products with Ulta Beauty, they'll go ahead and send you these little sample things. So I got a sample for Iux. This is their Skin Longevity, and this is by Bare Minerals. I went ahead and got another Smashbox. This is the primer, um, photo finish primer um, for your actual face. I did get some bucks and blushes, and I did get a Tarte foundation that they actually sent. That's always a good thing, so you're able to try different products. Also, it doesn't really give you samples of products for you to go home and try like Sephora. So when they give these free samples in your shipment, that's always a great thing for you to be able to try additional things before you actually buy it. I did get in this primer from Essence. This is a Prime and Studio. This is a mattifying and pore minimizing primer with black clay. I I, I really do think this primer is pretty good. The thing about this primer is it comes out gray, literally gray. But when you take and blend it in and put it on the actual skin, it goes on like a silky type of moisturizer. But once it completely dries down, for me, it gives a slight white cast, which some mattifying primers can do on deeper skin tones but when I tell you this will keep you matte this will keep you matte for about six to seven hours so depending on how your day is set up and what's going on just remember if you have oily skin just layer your mattifying products from your primer to your foundation to your setting powder to actually get this to last a little bit longer this isn't one I would just wear on my face and just go because obviously as you could tell it gives a white cast but this was a pretty great primer and I do recommend this primer by Essence for you guys to have oily skin. Next in, I did go ahead and snag the Maybelline times Puma, their collaboration that they did. And this is the Chrome Highlight Reflex Chrome and this is the one in Knockout. And when I say this thing is so pretty, it is so pretty. This is what it looks like swatched on the skin. So it can be very, very blinding and it doesn't, it has, even though it has a little bit of pink in it, 
it doesn't actually go in and flash pink it's just a really pretty gold especially during the spring and summer for my girls of color if you're just deeper this can be a year-round highlighter um, you can do it just a little bit to give a little bit of sheen but if you go in a little heavier it's gonna be a blinding metallic sheen so this is really pretty and it really didn't smell like anything so I appreciate when products don't have a smell so that way it doesn't irritate you so this is the Maybelline highlighter love this next thing I got was from Pacifica and this is going to be their cherry velvet matte translucent powder now with this particular powder I didn't have any issues any problems nothing with flashback or anything this little powder actually works pretty well and because of the size of the powder it's 13 grams of product it's a pretty affordable product I didn't break out or anything and I'm still using this throughout the actual summer just to make sure it's a great mattifying primer but if you're looking for a new mattifying primer uh, powder setting powder that doesn't give you flashback this is going to be an option for you guys this is another primer I had got from Essence this is their all about matte t-zone primer stick when I got this of course it was in the box and it was covered with all of the broken um, product from this actual product when I actually received it so not only was it in the box but it was all dried out so this was all loose in my box and this was over in the corner roll around in the powder foundation so I didn't I didn't get a chance to utilize use it or do anything with it but if you've had a chance to use this product or if this is one of your holy girl products let me know if I should repurchase this this one obviously obviously it's gonna go back for a return the next two things that I got on my list are both from eco tools I love eco tools sponges so I went ahead and got two of the new ones they had released this is their anti micro microbial silver and I got the fresh protecting blender and I got the fresh protecting body blender so I got the normal size one that you're supposed to use for your face and I also got the large body size I like to use both on my actual face if I'm having time and want to be a little bit more precise I'll use this but if it's quick in a hurry and gotta go I'll use the bigger blenders so I'm happy with both of these purchases and I did go ahead and pick up a new elf foundation and some of the new shades they released I did go ahead and pick up suede and this is their flawless finish foundation suede is way too light for me even before I got my summer tan this shade I could not wear I did go ahead and place a order on elf cosmetics and I ordered six more shades to try to see which one would be best so hold on guys I got an elf foundation swatch and wear test coming up for you guys but since this one is in my shade this one is going back to ultimate next thing that I went ahead and ordered I did go ahead and get the Smith and Colt this is their glitter baby and this is a metallic shift eyeshadow it is a very pretty eyeshadow I got the shade Jade and this is what it looks like and if you guys could just see all of the micro glitter that comes off in this with the applicator and it does go kind of green to blue brownie a little bit so it's kind of like max blue brown amped up on crack with glitter this is absolutely stunning so I am happy that I was able to go ahead and get this one from Smith & Colt. And while we are talking about eye glitters, I went ahead and picked up two more products from Flower Beauty. And these are their Warrior eye Glitter Eyeshadows. I did go ahead and pick up the shade Bullet, which is kind of a taupey gold with gold glitter. And then I did go ahead and pick up the green one in Camo. So this is what the Bullet looks like. The shade bullet it's a really pretty taupe with gold glitter it looks silver but guys it's more of a brownie taupe with uh, gold glitter and then for the camo color which is the green one this is what this one looks like and what you're seeing is the reflection of the actual glitter within it. it is a deep moss green and it is stunningly beautiful so if you guys are into the liquid shadows but you know you probably don't want to spend the 20 plus a dollar on the Stilla definitely go ahead and look into flower beauty their warrior 
glitter eyeshadows are absolutely perfect. I did go ahead and pick up the L'Oreal Palace Paris Infallible Full Wear. This is their new concealers they had came out with. I did get the shade 390 in Cedar. This shade is absolutely stunning and beautiful, but it did not come to play with me. I did pick this up in my battle of the concealers. It kept patching. The product kept moving around. It just didn't work for me. So for this particular product, I'm going to go ahead and take it back to Ulta. But you may like it. It may work for you. It does have a pretty big Dofa applicator. So I was happy about that. It just, it just didn't play with me, my primers, my foundations trying it with different products and different primers it still didn't work for me could just be because of my oily skin or what i don't know but this particular product just didn't work for me and i did go ahead and pick up one of l'oreal paris's their new lipsticks that they came out with and i did go ahead and get the shade i achieve and with these liquid lipsticks they are so pretty they go on they don't have a really strong smell. It smells like makeup, but they that is such a really beautiful orange. And it goes on and it will dry down, but it still stays kind of flexible on your lips. So this won't give you the butthole lip on <laughs> your lips. You know, when your lipstick wears really weird or dries down weird, you won't have that problem. This won't dry you out. And it does have a little sheen to it that it still keeps but it won't be a matte hot mess, but it's not gonna be all over the place like a traditional lipstick would be. This is a beautiful one. I definitely recommend if you guys are thinking about or looking into getting this, go ahead and try one out and tell me how much you like the actual formula. And the actual applicator, it's a tilted tulip. And it fits perfectly around your cubist bowl and along the bottom part of your lip. So this way you don't have to keep dunking in and out to get more product to apply. This was absolutely stunningly beautiful. And the next thing that I got, I did go ahead and pick up one of the lipsticks from the Maybelline Fenty collab that they had. I did go ahead and grab the shade Epic. All of May Maybelline's lipsticks that are like this, I absolutely love. So when I saw it, I knew I was gonna get it. And I'm a sucker for a pinky mauve. It's coming up a little brighter on camera, but it's actually just a little bit deeper than that. But this is a perfect, perfect summertime color. It's a little bit deeper, like the actual color of the actual packaging. But yeah, I absolutely love this one. But then again, I love all of Maybelline's Color Stay, Super Stay, anything like this from Maybelline, get it. It's a beautiful formulation. It stays on the lips. It weighs, wears well on the lips. It's kind of like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry all the way down matte. It kind of stays very moisturizing on the lips, but eventually after about 20 minutes, it will dry down all the way, but it'll be wearable throughout your day. From time to time, you can still feel a little stickiness with it, but it's not anything to where your hair get caught in or anything like that if the wind starts blowing. These are absolutely stunning and I do recommend these. And the last thing that I got is coming in from Full Spectrum. I did go ahead and get their Matte Idel and I did go ahead and get the shade 213 in Royalty. And this was their liquid lipstick. As you guys can see, I have a theme going here with the colors that I like. And it's very moussey. And it smells like cherry flavored Play-Doh. But that one is stunning stunning on deeper complexions and women of color my complexion are darker this is going to be a really pretty mauvey on you oh it's just really going to set really pretty on your lips because it is a mousse formula it won't set onto your fine lines and wrinkles and it'll just be beautiful on your lips on my lighter skin women this is going to come off as a deeper mauve it'll be your lips but better, just a deep, rich mauve, just, just simply stunning and beautiful. Very sun, springtime and summertime appropriate. So this is also a go, guys. You can go ahead and get this one as well. I'll be ordering some more colors since I really like this formulation. Okay, guys, and that is it. That's everything I got in from my Ulta haul. Hopefully, you've seen something that you like that you want to go ahead and get. And remember, they are about to get ready to do their 20% discount that they actually send out for you guys, either in the actual sales paper, if you're on that list to get their sales paper, or if you've signed up for their emails, 
keep checking your emails and let's get ready to see what we'll be hauling next. But again, thank you so much for coming and spend time with me. Again, I don't care if you spend time with me in the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night while you're busy trying to scroll through Ulta to see what else you may get. I'm just happy you chose to spend some time with your girl. And again, thank you so much. And until next time, YouTube, have a good one.